This is the largest broadcasting studio in the world at this point in time. There's something like 20,000 people that work here as far as I know. I had never been to Brazil before coming here for the games. First impressions were, of course, struck by the physical beauty of the city, the kindness of the people, where this city and I suppose this country is in terms of development. And the first thing that I thought, having been involved in the games obviously since 1998 with Sydney, was how are we going to deliver this here? How is this event, this super mega event, actually going to work in this city? Having done cities like Sydney and, and Beijing and London, the context here is, is completely different. The social context, the environmental context, and from my point of view, the technological context. So looking at technology, looking at energy services, what do we have to do as the IOC, myself and my colleagues and advisors that I work with to ensure that the Brazilians will deliver? In any big project such as the IBC, you can include a whole series of, of infrastructure, be it power, uh, there's obviously firefighting systems, water, etc. But these are complex venues, so you have to have control over your environment. So control systems are essential to allow you, one, to know how your services exist at any point in time, so you're monitoring the health of your systems, and then obviously to realize problems and where they are exactly so you can affect repair or some sort of change over a situation very quickly. You can make decisions based on realistic, real-time data through the control systems. I'm very happy with the level of service that we as the International Olympic Committee receive from GE, with the technical expertise that GE brings to the table, the level of cooperation, and understanding about change. In these events, change is the constant. We have to deal with change in planning, change in implementation, and then change in operations. So for example, in these games we reached out to GE a few times and we started seeing some issues with energy in a few places. Can you provide us additional equipment, additional UPS? GE comes to the table, they provide the hardware that we need, and we're able to solve problems very quickly. It is amazing when you've been here like three weeks ago, and you walk to this venue and you see it's still bare walls and there's things going in and we're having concerns, you know, is the air conditioning going to work, is the power going to work? And you arrive a couple weeks later and it looks like this. Yeah. And there's all these people that have arrived and they all have an environment to work, they're all doing their job, the sport's all happening in the venue. And through this facility, the world watches every second of every event. All the, the emotion, the pain, the excitement channels its way through this one facility. There is no room for failure here. 